The Bernese Mountain Dog is an incredibly impressive and intelligent dog breed with their playful nature and a strong, large build. They're a very popular breed globally, particularly due to their stunning appearance. However, as a burner owner, you need to be very aware of the dog's temperament. In today's video, we'll be looking deeper into the breed, particularly whether or not they are a breed with a high or low prey drive. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernie's Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernie's Mountain Dog and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Bernie's Mountain Dogs. So if you're a lifelong Bernie's dog lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernie's Mountain Dog video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out a little bit more about this breed's instincts and behaviours. Whilst dogs have been bred away from being predators like their wolf ancestors, most of them still retain the instinctive ability and want to hunt. Due to breeding, the prey drive manifests in many different ways in different dog breeds. Prey drive includes a few different behaviours including searching, stalking, chasing, biting to grab or biting to kill. Obviously not all dogs have such a strong prey drive but it's good to be aware of the specific behaviours as all dogs are individuals and temperaments can vary. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Bernese Mountain Dogs are very confident but gentle dogs by nature and although it's common for them to be used as working dogs in herding, they do not have a high prey drive. However, this does not mean that when something may catch their attention that they won't chase it because, well, they likely would. They're a very sociable and playful dog. They're a very sociable and playful dog that much prefer to get on with animals that they come across. It's very well known that these loving dogs adore playing and entertaining their owners. They absolutely thrive off being in a home environment and are known for their gentle giant character, especially when it comes to children. As long as you socialise your pup from a young age in many different settings, with other animals and people, this will help them grow into a well-balanced and sociable dog. Due to the Bernese Martin dog being very sensitive by nature, early socialisation helps them to become a more confident dog. They are very intelligent and they're always eager to please, making them pretty easy to train. But the training needs to start in early puppyhood because it could be very difficult to handle such a large adult dog. Understanding a dog's natural instincts helps you as an owner to be able to better understand your dog's behaviours and to find the best ways to train them. Burners, like I've already mentioned, are known for being devoted to their family and are very sociable dogs when socialised well, making them a great family pet as they love to spend time with their owners. Being a people oriented dog with a high pack drive means that they're easy to train due to them being very eager to please their owner and enjoy the attention that they're getting given during training. As always, you should be aware of the difference between a dog playing and a dog pushing the boundaries to see how far they can go, especially with a breed of such a large size like the impressive burner. These impressive dogs need to be well stimulated both physically and mentally in order for them to be well balanced dogs and to prevent them from developing destructive or unwanted behaviours. They are a breed that was bred to work in the fields, herding for long hours each day and boredom needs to be prevented. Even though they were first bred to work, they are actually very relaxed characters, meaning that you may just need to take them for shorter walks more often than just one long big walk. When looking into the prey drive of a dog, when looking into the prey drive of a dog, it's important to understand what this really is in comparison to what is perceived as aggression. It's important to understand the difference between prey drive and aggression, as they can very easily look like they are one and the same. A dog's aggression is driven by very strong emotions like fear, whereas their prey drive is instinctive. Aggressive dogs will want to increase the distance between themselves and the object of their aggression, but a dog's prey drive will draw them closer to the target. So why does it really matter? Well, as a dog's prey drive isn't driven by emotions, it's most often easier to manage than emotion-based aggression. An extremely strong prey drive can be particularly problematic if your dog wants to chase absolutely anything that it sees. Going for walks could become a nightmare for you as an owner. So they need to be properly trained and corrected in order to prevent your dog from ignoring your every call. Most of a dog's prey drive behaviours are harmless but can cause problems for you as an owner, being unable to go for a walk with your canine companion and to be constantly worrying that they're going to take off. It's super important to look into the specifics of a dog breed before bringing them into your home to make sure that your pup and yourself will be a good match. 
Plus, it's good to be aware of the different behaviours that your breed of interest may show more than another breed would. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated burner videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.